Hi, I'm Rob Cooper, Product Specialist at IZ UK. In today's video, I'm going to give you a simple step-by-step -step guide on what to expect when you open your brand new ISO Color Edge monitor. We're going to be using a CG2730 today. It's recommended to use a package opening tool like this one shown here, rather than a knife to protect the internals of the box. Score along the top, just like this. Let's pop this back down now and start by opening the box. On the top you can find the monitor hood. We're going to pop that to the side just for now and come back to that in the video. We can find here a power cable, various video cables and of course a USB cable. Here we have a user guide and a colour navigator disc. And if you've got a CG, you'll find a screen cleaning kit included. Let's take the polystyrene off and pop that to one side like that. There's two ways to take the monitor out of the box safely. If you have an older style ISO, place your hands down the back of the unit, ensuring that the LCD panel is away from you. Or on our newer models, use the grab handle available, making sure not to apply any pressure to the LCD panel. On the CS models, the base will need to be attached to the stand. Now let's remove the pink protective bag, pop that aside, and not forgetting the packaging, set around the monitor base, just like that. Let's move that out of the way just for the time being. If you have a CG, always important, remember to remove the sensor protective seal. The monitor has full adjustment capabilities, and go all the way down like so, and back up to the top like that. You can tilt it forward and back, and rotate the monitor in its portrait position, Make sure that the unit is tilted slightly before doing this to avoid scratching the stand base. Let's spin that around and now we can see the ports on the rear side of the monitor. At the top here we have two USB 3.0 upstream ports used to control the monitor. One display port, one HDMI and one DVI. Not forgetting the power and ensuring that the rocker switch is turned in its on position. Let's rotate the monitor back now into landscape again ensuring that we don't catch the stand on the rotation. If I spin the monitor around, we can now see the three downstream USB ports located on the side of the monitor. The USB ports can be treated as a USB hub. The top port there can also charge your mobile device even without the computer attached. This needs to be set using the on-screen menu. The cable tidy there is to make everything look neat. Cable supplied in the box is one power cable one DVI cable, one mini display port to display port cable in which we'll be using for this demonstration, and finally one USB 3.0 cable. Also there is four mounting screws if you wish to take the monitor off its stand, and one ISO utility disk which contains Color Navigator 7, in which the software can work on Windows, Mac and Linux. Let's start by connecting the power cord, then the display port, and the all important USB 3.0 cable. All of our CG monitors come supplied with a monitor hood. This one here is still in its packaging and we'll remove this like so. On our older CG models, we used to have various parts that needed to be clipped together. However, now we've gone for a one piece streamlined magnetic design. Carefully remove the last pieces of packaging. Extend both panels to its upright position and place over the monitor's bezel like so. It should just clip in. As you can see the magnetic style clips back together. If your workstation still has DVI connect the cable like so not forgetting the USB cable. If your workstation has a display port connect it like that. Again ensuring that the USB cable is connected. If you own a Mac, the mini display port end of the cable will go straight into your Thunderbolt 2 port, followed by the USB cable. 
If you have a newer Mac, which has USB Type-C or Thunderbolt 3, you'll need a similar cable to this. A full list of compatible cables can be found on our website. And here we have the mini display port and USB cables that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. Let's turn the monitor on. We should get a display, but if we don't, press the far left button a few times until a signal is detected. When powering on some models, the sensor will pop out momentarily. If you're using a laptop, it's worth noting that once you close the lid, the image will still remain on screen. This depends on your operating system settings. This concludes the video on what to expect when unboxing your brand new ISO Color Edge monitor. The next video will talk about how to install Color Navigator 7 onto your workstation. We hope you find the video has been of use. Thanks for watching.